Hi guys, it's your girl Wanna be back with another video. I know it's been a while. Life has just been so crazy. Like, <sighs> we're not even gonna get into that right now. Um, but today we're just gonna do a simple like brown smoky eye look, like a natural glam. Something for all of my beginner girlies and my girls who just don't have the time to be doing all day every day. I got you, girl. Okay, this is also going to be kind of a get ready with me video. So I'm going to kind of be talking to y'all a little bit. Sharing some stuff that's been going on with me. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And well, actually I might do them on camera because... <laughs> I ran out of brow pomade and my brow pencil broke so yeah but yeah let's go ahead and get into it before we begin please make sure that you like comment and share this video make sure to subscribe and also turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss when I post any more videos I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff getting into a lot of things for y'all so stay tuned <laughs> okay so first things first we just gonna go ahead and spoolie out that brow and since I ran out of eyebrow stuff, um, I'm taking this angled brush. It's dirty already because that's what I'm using. But I'm taking this angled brush and then I'm taking this brown and this black eyeshadow from Be Your Own Desire. This is the um, Allure Desire palette, which is sick thing, by the way. We're going to get into that a little bit later, but yes. So I'm going to take a little bit of that brown, a little bit of that black Tap off that excess and go in. Honestly, y'all, since I started kind of doing it this way, it's kind of been, I don't know, it's been great. It's a game changer. The reason I did this is because um, about a month ago at this point, I had a client. Um, she came to get her makeup done. It was her birthday. I think she was turning 40 something. I don't know. But it was her birthday. And I had brow stuff then when I had her appointment or whatever. But it just, for some reason, y'all, it just was not working. Like, nothing was showing up on her. Like, anything I was trying to do to fill in her brows it just was not working <laughs> so I broke out the trusty eyeshadow and yeah I made it do what it do so yeah we're just gonna fill this in um I just wanted to kind of show y'all that step or whatever as you can see it is filled in it's not too much um it's not too dark since I use that black but I use black anyway honestly for my brows but yeah, I'm gonna get some okay. brows done. I went ahead and carved out the bottom with my <clears throat> P. Louise base rumor number zero five, and I did the top of my brows with some foundation just to kind of give it a little bit of a softer whatever. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in D30 Bronze, which is what is a lot lighter than my foundation shade, but that's okay. Um, so now we're going to go in with the P. Louise Base Rumor 03. And we're going to pack that over the lid so that we can go ahead and have that flawless base. Taking this brush here, we're going to buff that out. All right, now that we've got that rumor um, base <laughs> packed all over the lid, we're gonna go in with the Be Your Own Desire Allure Desire Palette. Now, y'all, this palette is great, especially since we're going into fall and you want those neutrals, those golds, those shimmers, like those very neutral fall colors. This palette is great to start with. Um, of course, if you use this code right here, <laughs> you can get 25% off of your order. Is it 25%? I believe it's 25%. But yeah, use my code, honey. You can save some creams. 
here. Okay, but no, seriously. So we're gonna go in with this shade right here, this brown shade. It's a lighter brown than this brown is, but we're gonna go in with this. And I'm taking kind of a fluffy brush because this is gonna kind of be our transition shade. Because remember, we are doing a brown smoky eye. So you can use orange, like a kind of, not light orange, but kind of like a brownish orange to transition into a brown smoky eye. But today I want a true brown smoky eye. So tap off the excess and Me personally, to get color payoff, I like to pack the colors on first and then go back and blend out. But I like to get that color payoff first because, I don't know, it's just my technique. So today is November 2nd, I believe, 4th. Oh, I'm so off, <laughs> November 4th. My birthday was last month on the 21st, Big Libra Vibes, and I turned 27. I know, I don't look it, but yes, I turned 27. And I didn't really do much this year, y'all. Usually, I kind of go all out for my birthday, but this year, I didn't. Um, all I did this year really was go skating with a couple of my close friends, which that was really, really fun. I had been craving to go skating and I had a really good time. I could skate, um, now I can't do all that skating backwards stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I could skate. So we're just gonna go ahead and pack that on. Kind of all over the lid, but not really on the lid. I'm gonna do this to the other side. And like I said, I, used to, I like to use packing motions to get the color payoff first and then go back and blend out. And as you can see, I'm pretty much bringing this all the way up to the brow bone. It's totally um, up to you. That's about preference. You can bring it down a little bit lower. Like I said, you can um, start your transition shade with like a brownish orange, like a burnt orange. You know what I mean? Just depending on the type of look that you're going for. But today I'm kind of going for that more city girl inspired brown smoky eye. They live for a brown smoky eye, honey. <laughs> the girls live for a brown smoky eye. Okay, so we got that done. That actually looks pretty good so far. So next, we're gonna take kind of another fluffy brush. This is from e.l.f. And we're gonna go in with that darker brown. Excuse me, y'all. And we're gonna pack that all over the lid, blending up into that lighter brown. So in the palette, they don't look too much different, but you can definitely tell the difference once you start to pack this brown on. The reason I like this brown because it's kind of like a true brown. It's like brown, almost black. That's what I really like. And we're just packing this all over the lid, blending this up into that transition shade. A lot of you might already know this, but if you don't, you want to use like kind of like circular motions when you're doing the blending. Again, though, I am doing packing motions first. Yes.
for some reason, I don't know if it was some black mixed in there, but kind of coming off black <laughs> versus brown. But you know what? We're going to make that do what it do. So I'm just going to go in with a little black on top. <laughs> With this same brush, by the way, and just kind of darken that up, deepen up that brown. Everyone knows, or if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Eyeshadow is about repetition, so we're gonna go back in with that brown brush that we used and make sure to clean up this blend here. We want this to be a seamless blend. This is not a cut crease. This is nothing that needs to be, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Smoky eye does not have to be perfect. But you do wanna make sure that everything is blended. I mean, just kinda of like for your own personal liking. So that's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and come back. All right, so we have the smoky eye done. Turn this light down a little. We have the smoky eye done. It's giving smoke. <laughs> so the next part is going to be um, probably optional, depending on what you want to do. But me personally, it's just to help. It just helps. So I'm going to take this black liquid liner from e.l.f. I've been using this for years. I'm just going to do a slight line on the, I can't think, y'all, lash line. Ah. That way, when we put our um, lashes on, it'll blend seamlessly, and you won't be able to tell that I have on falsies. So, this is one of my tricks that I use. Okay, let me at least put one on. Okay, so I got the right lash line. And you see how this given seamless? I hope y'all can see this. It's given seamless. True enough, I do have my lash like right on my lash line, but even when I look down, it's kind of given seamless. So that's what you want to do with your lashes. I'm going to go ahead and put the next lash on and then we're going to get into the face. Okay, we've got both lashes on. It's giving. Okay, so now we're going in with the Be Your Own Desire Illuminating Universal Primer. Yeah, I love this primer so much. First of all, it smells good. It's got like this iridescent unicorn color. And it really, like, gives me a really smooth base for my makeup. I just put a little on my forehead. Because honestly, I really don't like to put makeup up there. All right, now that we have the face primed, we're gonna go in with the Be Your Own Desire um, Skin to Sin Smooth Matte Foundation infused with vitamin E, period. This is in shade 46 for me. And we're just gonna take a couple of pumps. Oop. A couple of pumps all over the face. I also like to go in with my um, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is the GOAT. I use this all the time. I kind of switch out between shades, but today we're gonna go in with shade 540 Mahogany, and we're gonna kind of mix the two. I do have kind of like a red, 
undertone. At least that's what I see. <laughs> but yes, we're going to take this flat kabuki brush and blend this out. Now, I know a lot of people say you shouldn't put any foundation, like, under your eyes because, I mean, you are going to go back with concealer. And in some cases, that is true. Some cases that work. Me, per me, personally, I just really, really, really like a flawless base. Really like a flawless base. And so, I'm like, <laughs> four different shades on my face. And so, sometimes I find myself just randomly picking <laughs> a part of my face that I want to match for the day, for that day. That's why I have so many different shades for myself. Which I'm sure everyone has like a summer shade and then a winter shade. Cause you do get a little darker in the summer and then you get back a little lighter in the fall, winter. I always like to do the handshake. It's giving a little light a little yellow but do not worry all of that is going to be fixed all right so we've got our base laid down <clears throat> and next we're gonna go in with the again be your undesired skin skin smooth matte concealer this is in shade 21 super cute packaging i really need to get some more i'm running out but um I don't really like to put on too much concealer anyway. Because concealer really does go a long way. But we're going to highlight underneath the eye. And to get that lifted effect, you want to just put it in the corner like so. I kind of drag it down on my nose a little bit. And then also put it over here. Yeah, I really need to get some more. But use my code, use my code and go get this because this concealer is the truth. I mean, I'm really proud of my girl. The whole brand, honestly, is great. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> I've gone back to using a brush to blend out my concealer. So we're going to go ahead and buff that out. And notice how I kind of look up as I'm doing it, so I really make sure to get underneath that eye. I mean, because the point of the concealer right here is to brighten up the under eye and give you a more youthful, brighter, awake look. And before I even buff out the other side, you guys see like the difference turn the lighting down a little bit but this is already blended out and it's already kind of giving me that youthful look whereas this side is still giving me <laughs> okay And I love doing my concealer this way. Let me turn this back. I love doing my concealer this way because first of all, you don't need that much. Like since I've been doing makeup for quite a few years now, I've learned that, you know, more is not always better. Sometimes less isn't always better. It really just depends on the product and your technique. 
it has a lot of things to go into factor. Okay, so we've got that buffed out. I really do like to use leave my nose contour for as long as possible, <laughs> honestly, because, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really like for the nose to be snatched. So, next we're going to go ahead and put a couple lines down here. This is for my girls who got, you know, a little stubble down there, a little five o'clock shout out. I understand, girl, if you need to use a little color corrector, you can use that right here. Um, put that underneath your foundation, though. And it's really going to help to color correct that dark shadow or anything like that. But look at me, I, I just plucked my face. So, <laughs> it's not really giving too bad today. But, y'all know what I'm talking about. Alright. And this is looking so good already. It's looking so good already. My face is already coming together. I just put a little bit on the chin. I don't really go overboard with the chin. And then I like to go back in with my um, foundation brush as well over the chin. So it's not giving too much. Because I don't know if y'all watch Real Housewives of Potomac. Messy. Oh, messy hags. But Candace Dillard. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know, I like Candace. She's okay. For the most part, when she's not like crying or being shady, but I hate her makeup sometimes. It's just over the top. The chin contour is just be way too much for me. And I don't like it. So did you guys see what I did there? Um, as far as highlighting my forehead. I just do very lightly on the forehead because I don't want to make my forehead seem as if it's protruding or I don't want to make my forehead a seem larger, longer. So, five head, six head. So, I just do it very lightly right there. And then again, I go back with my foundation brush. Kind of go over that. Okay. All right, next up is probably another one of my favorite parts. I mean, makeup in general is just my favorite thing to do is setting the face. And I like to set my face before I do my contour because I know the trend now is to do cream contour. I'm just not into it. <laughs> I'm just not into it. I'm sorry. I'm just not into it. I like to use powder contour because it saves time, honestly. But anyway, we're going with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade 30 Medium Deep. And I'm also going in with a Beauty Blender. This is designated specifically to setting my face. It's not wet. I didn't spray it with anything. For me personally, I feel like that's what gives it like a better effect. It's almost kind of like baking without the baking, honey, and you don't get flashback. Just try it. So I just get a little bit in the top there. Let me put a little bit more. I get a little bit in the top, okay? And then I kind of dip that in, okay? And then I kind of pat it on my leg or my towel whatever I have close by to get some of the excess off and then I go ahead and set it just pressing that powder in and look at that already you can tell it's giving face to them like in real life are we here are the girls away because yeah it's giving real life face to them. look at this just look like it's set, it's done, it's snatched. I don't have to go back and do anything. I don't have to come back and dust off any excess because I 
we're just doing this right now like period like oh my goodness this is giving like this is what brings the face together for me this is what brings the face together for me so we're just gonna set all of those places that we put concealer which is under the eyes right here I'm gonna set the chin. We're also going to set the forehead. And when I set the forehead, as you can see, I'm making sure to go over the brow. That's also going to help prevent that little halo effect on your brows because we did conceal the top of the brow. Now, I know a lot of girls don't really like to conceal the top of the brow into each of their own, but for me, it just gives it <clears throat> a really carved out, like, precise look. It just really brings them out together. I've been letting this sit because I want this to be, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of buff that out. Because it's been sitting, it's pretty much in the same spot that I put it. Okay, I'm gonna take that powder and that beauty blender and dip in there. I need the mirror. And we're going to set that as well. Purr, the biggest purr. So it's, the face is already giving. Like, wow. The face is already giving, so moving on to contour. All right, next for contour now, I usually like to use the Black Radiance Beauty. <laughs> what is the name? Black Radiance Beauty Cosmetics, whatever, contour palette, but I've used that all the baby. Um, and I like to use a lot of inexpensive products because let's be honest, girl, although it's just me and I don't have no kids, your girl is not rich, okay? I have real big girl bills, honey, so I can't be going spending $40, 50 $60 on foundation and all that type of stuff, baby. She balling on a budget. So I got this Nika K um, Contour Duo. And this is, it doesn't have like a shade or anything like that. But I believe this is probably their darkest one. And I'm going to be honest, y'all, it is a little powdery. Like, a little too powdery. So, you got to be careful. Like, let me just, can y'all see? Can't really see. But you got to kind of be careful when you're packing, di dipping into this. Okay. And we're going to use this to <sighs> sculpt the face, is what I like to say. Now, me personally, I know this is old. I'm old school. Like I said in the beginning of the video, y'all, I just turned 27. I know I don't look it. A lot of people say I still look 18, 19. But 27. Okay, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> 27. So, I like to give the duck face to get my contour perfect. I even make my clients make this face when I do their face because, yeah, for me, it's just, it gives me the outline. It gives me an idea of where I need to go with the face. You know what I mean? Everyone's face is different. But if you do this, that exposes your cheekbones, okay? And it lets me know exactly where your contour needs to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's exactly where my contour needs to be right here. Which, my face is kind of naturally contoured. I don't know. I can always see that. <laughs> I can always see that even when I don't wear makeup. But Y'all, this color for me is perfect. <laughs> perfect, like with the Black Radiance palette. Like, sometimes I find myself having to just go real light with it because it's kind of too dark. Because I get the 
dark to deep palette. I used to get some medium to dark palette, but that's too light for me. And you want to kind of bring your contour down like into, what do I want to say? Like down here. <laughs> Not too much though. You really want to focus on this and then going up. And you see how I'm kind of doing like circular motions and I'm kind of blending it outward this way. I don't know what to call that or how to explain how that helps. But I mean, y'all be seeing a girl face snitch down. So I guess it just kind of speaks for itself, period. I know Marima is kind of bright, but y'all can see that a little bit. Okay, so I'm also bringing the contour kind of up into my hairline a little bit. And this is also going to help to make my forehead not be like so big. I don't think I have like a huge forehead, but <clears throat> I don't know. It just kind of brings it together. Okay. Now, also, this is like a drag queen, a drag makeup tip. I mean, not really, but kind of depends. That's what I personally learned about it. Um, when I first started doing makeup, I think the first person that I actually watched on YouTube was Makeup Shayla. Mind y'all, this is back in like 2014. Okay, so makeup back then and makeup today in 2021, yeah. It's evolved, it's changed, it's not the same. But Makeup Shayla was the first person that I watched on YouTube. The reason I watched her is because I went to college, I went to Jackson State University in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, true enough, I only did my freshman year, but college isn't for everybody. Not that I was doing bad or nothing, I was in honors college, I was doing my thing. I just, yeah. It was a party school, and I didn't need to be there, honestly. Although that was my dream school, it was a party school. I didn't need to be there. And so I decided to take a year off. Life happened, and now here I am. But, yeah. Anyway, I had a friend in college named Horace. And um, Horace was already, like, I was openly gay at the time. And he was openly gay, whatever. But Horace was, like... I don't know, Horace was just, I loved Horace to absolute pieces. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and contour the nose using that same contour palette with this little brush here. When you're doing nose contour, I mean, you can contour your nose however you want. I know girls who do like the little box, like, <sighs> I don't do all that. I just want my nose to be, I don't know. I mean, it's already kind of contour because I put that little ass strip of concealer. But anyway. Rude, confident, like outgoing, like, I don't know. He was just everything. He was everything. But he did make up at the time. He didn't make up at the time, and um, we used to always hang out, like in the dorms, and we used to like put on shows. It was just us and our friends though, but we would just kind of put on shows where we would kind of do like drag shows. Like I never wanted to dress up in drag though, like that was never my tea, you know what I mean? Like that was never my, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of respect to them, but some of them scare me. Like, I don't know, to see it in person sometimes is a little overwhelming and scary because 
I'm not a short girl, like I'm five nine, but damn girls be six six, six three, six four, like big ass women. And I'm not knocking them at all. It's just for me. I was like, ah, a little, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I like to go to the shows and stuff. And so like, that was his thing. And we would be in the room doing that and he would be practicing and practicing. And um, probate came. I don't know how many of y'all are in college or been to college, but probate came where everyone crosses or whatever. AKA all that Delta, Kappa, da da da. They crossed or whatever. And he did my makeup. Well, at the time, I didn't really do much. I think I wore like <laughs> eyeliner, eyebrows, and mascara. I was very much basic. <laughs> but he did my eyebrows and they were absolutely sickening, stunning. I wore this cute little outfit with like these black and white caution advisory pants on like this black blazer with the v-neck black v-neck combat boots baby period with the motherfucking steel toe part like the little silver stud part sick honey and they had like the orange hair. sickening honey i'm gonna have to find a picture with the furla bag you girls don't know about the furla bag baby y'all too young to know about the furla bag I don't think Furla is black owned, but the way I can reference it is Furla was the old school type of bar. <laughs> yes, Furla was sickening. Anyway, and since then, I just really wanted to do makeup. Like, <clears throat> that would be like all I would be thinking about. All I wanted to do, like, was just do makeup. Okay, this is what I don't like. Okay, I'm about to say. So I'm gonna go back in with that blender and I'm gonna kinda. I go over the nose, the nose contour. I also dip back into my Contour Duo into the light shade. I don't know, I really like this as well. This is a really pretty color. And then we just... Yep. is snatched and because I don't put concealer down here I like to go in with that beauty blender you see how they did that and it's just cutting your jawline without having to actually cut the jawline And like I said, that's why I like to use powder contour because at this point I'm done. <laughs> like at this point I'm done. I'm gonna go back though. Make sure I'm really, really getting that cheap payoff that I want. Okay, I ended up just doing my lower lash line with some black liner and a little of that brown to smoke it out. <clears throat> now we're gonna go in with blush. Um, I'm using this big brush from, dang, I forgot that brand. I'm gonna let you know. But um, I'm using that brush and I'm actually using the Profusion Mirage palette from Walmart and I'm kind of going in with this purple and these browns over here I like a little color on the face I'm going all down this side right here and also dipping into this purple back over here Just off the excess Oh 
Okay. okay, and we're gonna, I like to do a little smirk. I feel like that puts the blush in the right place. Or like a little. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I just kind of lightly dust that and then also go up. Can you see that? Yeah. I don't want to go overboard because sometimes I go overboard with the blush. And yeah. It's always good to have not enough, maybe, versus too much. Yeah. I think that's perfect. I also like to put a little blush on the nose. I ain't not too able to do it. All right, so we got our blush done. Now, before I do my highlight, I like to go ahead and set the face. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I can find my dog on. Okay. Mm. I like to bask. And this is inexpensive veil. This is Ruby Kisses Matte Finish Setting Spray. You can get this at the hair store. If I go to the hair store and I happen to pick up makeup, I like to get Ruby Kisses. Even their lipsticks are bomb. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, for a highlight, um, I would go in with my Be Your Own Desire highlight palette, but for some reason I can't find it. So we're gonna go in with an OG um, black red. <laughs> I was saying this wrong earlier when I was telling y'all. About the contour palette black radiance beauty period true complexion 3d highlighter palette um as you can see but i've been using this up it has vacation first class in paradise i love vacation that is my jam so i'm gonna get up in there because i just got the corners love and uh, i'm gonna set the face one more time because i feel like when you set the face and then you do your highlight it really makes it pop so Plus, I really like to lock in with my face. Okay, twirl that around a little bit of that. Oh, per, I love this highlight. This is my go-to. This is like my fave because it's just like not too much. It's subtle. And then you can go back over it with your blush to kind of tone it down if it's too much. Okay, also for highlight, <clears throat> I like to highlight my forehead. I really don't know why. I know some girls do it like over there. I don't really care for that. And then, uh, we almost done. <laughs> Take this little bitty brush here and something that inner corner highlight just is pure melatonin for me. Serotonin, whatever. Probably melatonin. I did that. But we're gonna go ahead and give some inner corner highlight that just gives for me and go ahead and highlight the nose. Since I did my contour so slender. Of course, I do want to use a small brush. And I really, really, really like to highlight this part. And I go back in with that big brush. And I just kind of blend that out. I'm not really just too picky on this part. It's going to be highlighted either way. So, Okay. Um, I do also kind of go on the, I kind of make this lip. <laughs> do that number. Now for lips, I don't know. I usually don't wear a lot of lipstick or whatever. So I just probably put on like some gloss and some brown liner. I'm sure y'all know how to do that. 
and yeah just one second okay so i decided to do my lips on camera because <clears throat> my pencil is dull and for some reason i don't have a sharpener anyway so i'm taking the same brush that i did my under eye with it's just this it's from sephora um double ended brush and i'm going in with that brown and outlining the lips I'm doing this because I think I'm gonna wear this matte, like nude lip. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with what I'm gonna actually put on my lips. Um, but <clears throat> I just wanted to show y'all this part because. I be having to improvise, baby. Like, for real deal. And this is like the perfect brown that I want. Okay, so I'm dressed, I'm back, and this is the final look. We just did a cute <clears throat> pony. Did like a nude matte lip. This is also from BYOD. Of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to my channel, visiting, sitting with me, talking with me, and getting this face beat, honey. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to run out the house. I'm about to go have dinner with my mom. So, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Again, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss when I post another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. On these bitches, now they calling from the Mavericks. Cute face, slim waist, and she classy. Say he won't be on set, but it's coming like the stallion. I got the drip, got the sauce, got the juice, and I ain't worried about no class, so I ain't worried come about on, you. Come on. I got your man, now you say he on the loose, and I just really push your ego now. It's hanging by a noose. He say he like the way I do it when I do. I apply pressure to you bitches, I just knock you out your shoes. Yeah.